What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rudy Having Fun. Today's adventure, if you'd like to call it that, brings me back to Anaheim, California, where I'll be visiting the Disneyland Resort for the next two days. But before that, I'm here at the desert, the Desert Palms Inn and Suites. That's where I'll be staying for the next two nights. And I wanted to show you around, let you know how much it cost me, and overall what I think of this particular hotel. Um, to start out, I want to show you where it's located here on Tella Avenue, just basically across from the Anaheim Convention Center, down that way. If you go down this way, you'll see, I don't know if you saw my last hotel review, but the Hyatt House across the way there. And just a few steps down the way, you got Harbor Boulevard. We got a 7-Eleven here right next door, a CVS across the street, a Walgreens over there. It's 24 hours, I believe. And then on the other corner, you got some other shops like a liquor store and a pizza shop. And there's an IHOP over there. Those are all very close by. And then if you walk down to the left over here, Disneyland is probably around a five minute walk from the hotel. So that, all of that is good. There's plenty like a, oh, there's a coffee, coffee bean and tea leaf there. So there's a good amount of stuff around the area from here. So that's a positive. All right, now I'm gonna show you the inside and then go from there. Before I step inside, this is the outdoor dining area of the restaurant that they have here called the Oasis Kitchen and Bar, currently closed. It's not operational at the moment, but that is something that is offered when the hotel is fully operational. This is what the lobby looks like. They have a walk-up self-serve coffee bar here, as well as a business center to do your business. I don't know, not a whole lot to work with here, but I guess if you need a printer, nice looking lobby. Got an ATM over there if you need to pull out some cashola. This is a cool little chill area here with the TV. I'm not sure what you'd use that for, but there it is. You do have a little gym. I do not believe it's open right now because of COVID restrictions. This is uh, what the pool looks like. Fairly small, looks like it's five feet at the deep end. It says it's open, but I just tried to go out there and the key would not let me in, so. I know for sure the spa's, the hot tub's closed. I don't know about the actual pool itself. I'd say it looks like there's a little sun deck up on the top up there. Not too bad. It's kind of small, but. They've also got this Nice little market here where you can pick up some water, some tea, a little bit of Disney merch, you know, convenience snacks, toiletry items that you may need that you forgot, even cords and power banks. Just your basic stuff, sodas, lunchables, some frozen burritos and whatnot. I was also told that they just started doing uh, like bagged breakfast. They said it was like danishes and juice in the morning, nothing crazy, but a little grab and go breakfast for free that they offer at the front desk. Everything looks nice. The floors are clean. It doesn't look dirty or run down or anything like that. They are doing a little bit of work sporadically around the hotel, but I do gotta say there is kind of a funny smell in the air. Not quite sure what it is, but it's, it's like a combination of cleaning products and something that they're trying to cover up with the cleaning products. So here's the grand reveal of the room. 
is uh, two queen beds. Cost me 140 a night plus taxes and fees. After it's all said and done, I was out the door 330 plus $18 a night for parking. They said that they've taken out some of the normal accommodations in here, one of which appears to be the coffee pot, which I'm not too thrilled with, but like I showed you earlier, there is that walk-up coffee thing, which is nice. Got the ice bucket here. You got your uh, microwave. Nice little fridge here. Plenty, of, like bring your coats, cause they got coat racks galore. Good lighting in the bathroom. They've got their own brand of soaps. Let's see, what are they? Ooh, smells really good actually. That was the body lotion. Yeah, I like the soaps actually. Those smell good. Let's see what the towels look like. The towels are low quality. Don't like the towels very much. Let's see what the water pressure is like. Ooh, strong stream, strong stream. I'm liking that. All right, that's a that's a positive. Let's see, they got temperature control here on the wall, which is nice. Although it's coming out of the, over by the window there. Standard safe, okay TV. Uh, alarm clock, I do like, they've got the plugs here and then you can control the light without having to get up or get up. <clears throat> Let's see. Pillows are on the firmer side. Well, some of them are. Some of them are soft, some of them are firm, I guess. Let's see how this bed feels. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Beds are comfy. Let's see. Yeah, beds are good. I like that. They give a uh, free internet for 24 hours, I guess. They give free internet, at least for the first day. If you want to upgrade, it's seven bucks. Um, let's see, you got a desk here for doing your business or whatever you need to do. Um, they got a nice little luggage holder there. Pretty nice room. You know what I never understood? Who's hanging there? Who's hanging their clothes from the sprinkler? Like, you know, there's a sign there. It's like, like, if you have, they put the sign by the, the hot tub too, like don't poop in the pool or whatever. Like, who's pooping in pools and hanging their, their clothes from the sprinkler? Like, come on people. Oh, let's see what, let's see what, uh, this is, going, what's going on out here? Okay. Now this is weird. What is this? What is this? What's going on out here? Like what? That is odd. Okay. So it looks like it used to be maybe some kind of patio and now it's just a storage area. I guess there's like all the pool, like the pumps or whatever about here, but it is kind of sort of a pool view, I guess. That's weird. All right, so all in all, let's just rate this hotel real quick. 
from my experience of visiting a few of the the hotels in the surrounding area of the Disneyland Resort up to this point, this is a little lower on my list of hotel favorite hotels when visiting, but let's just go like negatives, okay? Negatives, it's a little further than I like to stay when visiting the resort, but I mean, it is kind of located close to the, the um, convention center. It does have a lot of great stuff around it, you know, that makes it convenient when you're staying here. You don't have to go too far. There's a 7-Eleven literally right next door. You've got some restaurants if you want to get a bite to eat and not have to pay the big bucks at the park. Um, but also it's a little, it's just got a little hint of ghetto-ness to it, in my opinion. Um, like that thing out there, what is that? That's weird. The smell, a little weird. But uh, just based on what prices are in the area right now f to stay at hotels, especially because tomorrow's opening day for Avengers Campus, it's June 3rd today, 2021. Um, the price is very competitive, so that is a plus. Um, another negative, the, the, the restaurants closed. They're not offering a lot of the stuff that they would normally offer in COVID. You can't really knock them too much for that. Um, beds are comfortable, nice pillows, good water pressure, uh, free Wi-Fi. So, you know, I can't, I can't say not to stay here. I mean, it's, it's fairly decent. <laughs> That's a really strong uh, approval of the hotel, but um, I don't really know what else to say. There's not, there's not a lot going on in this, this room. So um, I guess I'll just end it there. I hope you found this video useful and I hope to see you in future videos. Thank you and have a good one.